just as God drove Adam and Eve from the Garden of Eden, so did he say our God ordained revolution from these dubious characters by hastening their departure from our ranks. Shortly after they left, we saw Zindian County going from a county that held our Ambazonian flag high to one that saw the disappearance of his formidable film and the decline of its fighting force. To Field Marshal Ten Kobo, I say this. We do not know what happened to you. But if you fell into glory by the hands of those whom you bled for during this liberation fight, we pray God continue to keep you by his side and give you the portion and give the portion of irrelevance and shame to those responsible for your demise as he has done since their departure from our ranks. My fellow Ambazonians, during the course of our numerous drafts, your government has been picking up the pace in its determination to, re re to revive India. We are here today because the resources in their county is directly linked to the manipulations that led to the annexation of our beloved country by French Cameroon. I want to thank those who have been quietly putting in the time and effort to recalibrate this very important county, not the least. I want to thank Chairman Jonas, Tata Jonas. He has been very instrumental in re rebuilding that young county. He's a man of principle. He stayed with us when his county was devastated by lies coming from the other side. And we must bring Bridgian County back to its glory. The challenges we face are astronomical. But the Ambazonian people have always reminded our detractors that we are here to actualize our independence and nothing will stand in the way of this dream. We are here today because we the people are determined. We, the people, will never give up. And as evident by the show of strength and dominance during this year's first October Independence Day celebration, we, the people, continue to remind the Republic of Cameroon, its proxies and traitors that Ambazonia is here to stay. Let's, let's lift the county up and put all our detractors to shame. With that, ladies and gentlemen, it is with distinct honor that I welcome the one and only president of the Federal Republic of Ambazonia, Dr. Samuel Ikome Sako. Thank you and God bless Ambazonia. Thank you.
Mr. Vice President Eric Ate, the Right Honorable Speaker of the Interim House of Representatives, Dr. Winnie Lobati, the Chairperson of the Ethics Committee, Dr. Uh, Mrs. Dorothy Moore, members of government, county and LGA executives here present, the civil society leaders, distinguished supporters and sympathizers at home and abroad, valiant Ambazonia Restoration Forces from Deer County, fellow Ambazonians. <clears throat> A lot has happened around the world from Ukraine to Israel to remind us that our destiny is squarely on our hands. Those who ever faced existential threats must know that the only solution is to resist evil, stop the evil, and stay alive. And we don't all have to be alive, but some will, and the next generation will be able to look at us and say thank you. The solution for annexation cannot be assimilation. It is not the granting of a referendum to the occupied territory. It cannot also be the annihilation of the annexed people. The solution is justice and freedom to the annexed people by all means necessary. Just as the thief cannot make her victims prosperous, so it is that the annexationist cannot freely give justice to his annexed victims. We must fight for it and take it. Fighting or hating on the interim government that is painstakingly fighting the occupier is simply the insanity of the praying mantis that kills and eats off the head of its male counterpart during mating. How can the reward for trying to build a nation be hate or death to the head? Valiant Ambazonia Restoration Forces of Dian County. Fellow Ambazonians, thank you for showing up once more for this very important federal government draft for the Ambazonia Restoration Forces of Dian County. This is the economic significance of this great county. The economic significance of this great county blessed with enormous soil resources remains a priority to the genocidal colonial regime of Yaoundé. While the enemy prioritizes this topmost economical strategic part of our territory, we cannot lay back or relent in our efforts to match their evil efforts to keep control of the vast natural resources of this Amazonian breadbasket. Our valiant Amazonian Restoration Forces, hero, heroes and heroines, the brave ARFs on Dian, continue to resist the Bulubeti talks who have continually slaughtered our people in their thousands, despite all these challenges. They deserve our collective support as Amazonians, especially after the Republic of Cameroon colonial chief slave boy, John Gute, through his sponsored coup leaders, disguised in our midst, tried to destabilize our institutions and reverse our self-defense gains in the end. They say the enemy without can do you no harm if there is no enemy within. Where are those enemies within who rushed for their 30 pieces of silver? The champion de la Republic du Cameroon sponsored smear initiative campaign to crumble our institutions with a sole mission to sell our liberation project to their relatives in power and seal our fate, seal our fate in this slave trap called Cameroon. Thanks to you, the majority of Amazonian patriots who remained focused on the goal that circus has ended in fiasco, in a fiasco. Thanks to you, the patriotic remnants of the great county of Dian who rejected the tribalization of our conflict, stood firmly on the side of truth against an enterprise of lies. The people of Dian, Batata and Abaya, shunned the La Republic du Cameroon sponsored one Cameroon plot and helped us to dismantle the counter-revolutionary machinery. Today, your interim government stands tall. 
grounded and unshakable as your institution prosecuting this liberation war for our collective survival and liberation of our people. Imagine that we were indeed removed just for the tribal champions to drop the ball. What will remain of our struggle today? Make no mistake, we did not win anyone. We have only restored reason in the struggle. The Bible says, some of us fail for lack of knowledge. And we fail not just because our course was wrong, a wrong one, or we did not fight for it enough. Ambazonia will always win against all who try to sacrifice her freedom for their personal gain. That's a warning to all of us. I want to invite you all to come back to the house. You cannot be ashamed to do the right thing when those who do the wrong things are not ashamed. Yes, you were misled. Yes, you stumbled. And should, uh, and, and should that be the final chapter to be written? No. Ambazonia is still crying in the labor room, begging for your help to be born. Despite the mountain of distractions, our gains diplomatically and our renewed sustained firepower on, on the home front in general are putting the enemy in disarray once more. Recently, the One Cameroon Coalition gathered in Canada. They gathered again to try hard to redefine our struggle as an internal crisis in the two regions of Cameroon. They are now trying to reduce the struggle to make demands for a phony referendum. They want us to recant our claims to independence according to Resolution 1608 of the General, UN General Assembly. They want us to dissolve our government and institutions of state and prepare to meet the Republic, not as the representatives of the Southern Cameroon state, but as some activists from the Southwest and Northwest regions of the Republic of Cameroon. They mask this capitulation as the call for a referendum. The, log the, the logic is, if we have indeed restored our independence, then why do we need a referendum to be independent? If we say what we need is a referendum instead, does that not mean that we now affirm we have not restored our independence yet? That means we have surrendered or abandoned the cause. It means the United Nations General Assembly Resolution 1608 is dead and buried. It means the idea of the interim government is redundant. It means our anthem is worthless. It means our celebration of independence on the 1st of October is a farce. It means having a president or a political head in the southern Cameroon and Bazonia is no longer needful. No wonder some people say they are now comrades. It's all, it also means we have capitulated from the notion of two states of equal status to the one Cameroon lie that we are just some million groups in the southwest and northwest regions of a one Cameroon and a one and undivided Cameroon, begging Yaounde for a better share of the national cake. Needless to say, they have failed. For you, the ARFs of Dian, who stood by your national institutions following our reconstitution in Washington during the ASFC 2 in 2022, Ambazonia cannot be prouder of your patriotism. You fought the enemy ferociously, debunking the myth that Ndian County, being the birthplace of the colonial prime minister, was out of the struggle. You exerted control on the abandoned towns of Mundemba, Ekondo Titi, Dikomebalwe, Toko, and the environs, and repelled enemy forces who wanted to take advantage of the wrangling instituted by infiltrators. You lost some of our bravest in these battles. Some of our brave ones fell between the cracks of the diaspora divide. A few were missing in action today, and they are missing through acts of betrayal and confusion. But the ARFs are still here ready to defend our colors. We honor all these and all those innocent civilians 
who have lost their lives in Dian County and all over Ambazonia during these seven years of genocide on our people. A brief moment of silence. Their ultimate sacrifice is a reason we cannot relent in this fight for our collective freedom. My dear people of Monemba, Bamuso, Ekono Titi, Dikwebalwe, Idabato, Kombo, Edimo, Kombo, Etinde, Toko, and Environs, your land is blessed with enormous natural resources, but the colonial regime has continuously neglected you during these 62 years of occupation. The Bakasi Peninsula, which ex experts describe as the richest part in terms of subsoil minerals and other natural resources in the entire Gulf of Guinea has completely been abandoned by Yaoundé, the Yaoundé colonial regime, prompting our Western neighbors, Nigeria, to reactivate their illegal claim of that stretch of Amazonian land. The exploitation of your God-given resources without even a minimum compensation has brought untold misery to you, the people of Dian County especially. Your story serves as a textbook example of Amazonian exploitation and subjugation during the 62 years of annexation and recolonization. If there's any county that our collective resistance against the enemy must be fierce and unapologetic. It is Indian County. That's why we are here tonight. Under the banner of the federal government to draft collectively as a people resolved to support our loyal ARFs of Indian as they continue to defend and protect this Amazonia economic reservoir. With our financial support tonight, we can restore the era that the ARFs of Ndian, when they were, that the era when they were omnipresent, the safe corridors through which our resources were stolen at that time were death traps for corporate thieves. We will restore the era when all colonial parasites were persona non grata in this county. That is where we want to be again in our self-defense strategy in Dian County and to confound the, the, the John Gute sponsored infiltrators who cashed out on the graves of our people, who took blood money, blood stained money to betray our liberation movement, no, forgetting that Ambazonia belongs to Ambazonia. The encouraging news now is that the ARFs of Dian are still there and need our attention. They are at the verge of full rehabilitation under our ARF chain of command as it were prior to 2022. They are, now, they are not in this for anyone, but them, uh, for others, for themselves. They, they know that annexation, they know what annexation is. They were born in annexation. They grew up in annexation. They breathed annexation and today, they are survivors of diverse sorrows under this cruel annexation. Matter of fact, this war was declared on us primarily because of Ndian. If the wealth of Ndian was not in this equation, the Republic of Cameroon would have since let us go. Ndian County, by the order of things, should be the first county to be liberated if we want to see a quick end to the occupation. I salute you all, our brave ones. I encourage you to continue shunning all manipulations and disloyalty by any bunch of do nothing elements in the diaspora or at home, especially the CPDM sponsored spoilers. When a child is a baby, he may depend on the sight of his parents, but when he is grown and can see for himself, he chooses where to go and what to do. Don't dismiss this IG because of what someone told you. Judge for yourself now. The ones who deceived you, 
may be the ones you should avoid now if you must go forward. As patriots, volunteers who have pledged your lives to defend our homeland, I enjoin you to remain loyal to your enduring institutions, the interim government, under our oversight, so that together we can execute this stabilization plan in this year of acceleration with consistency. Let me warn all ARFs in Dian and all across the 13 counties who spend time in beer palace, drinking and getting drunk, womanizing, living on hard drugs, extorting money from the population, going frequently to mount checkpoints on the road and demanding exorbitant fees from drivers and passengers. And those of you walking freely and mingling with the local population, your name Nadai. Not forgetting those on social media, always showing their faces, beating their chests to the world. How can we be that dull after sitting in the same classroom for seven years? For some of you, your handlers will not tell you, but I must tell you as your commander in chief, gorillas are very intelligent warriors. Faithful and patriotic financial warriors, supporters of the defense of the breadbasket of Amazonia. It is an uphill task to defend the great county of Dian, given the insatiable economic taste of the colonial regime aided by multinationals. This is where the genocidal regime makes the money they can still afford to service the credit card of, the, of this genocidal war on the same people they are exploiting. The complexity stems from the many fronts the multinationals can transport their economic booty uh, through. Either they are uh, lifting gold or shipping agricultural products, or they are lifting our crude, our crude oil off from out of our shores. On the land, our economic sabotage against the economy has been effective. As products of palm oil and other precious timber can no longer be transported out of the county unchallenged by our valiant ARFs of the earth. In this era of acceleration, acceleration, we are determined to put Ndian County at its 2021 level again. Our stabilization plan for the ARFs of Ndian will be effective and sustainable if we all sacrifice financially today to consolidate this phase. Let us, by our contribution, send a stern message to the enemy of our resolve to escalate our resistance in this very important economic strategic county of Amazonia. Let us reassure the people of Bakasi of our determination to protect our patrimony against the wanton exploitation of our God-given resources and the violation of the integrity of our territory. I appeal to you all, good people of Amazonia, to go the extra mile tonight and contribute generously so that we can defend, control, and protect this resource-rich area of ours, which is now used to facilitate the genocide on our people. Drafting Fundian is your contribution to cut the life artery that is giving oxygen to La Republic of Cameroon to fight us. No county should be left behind, and more so the liberation and control of Ndian is our collective devoir. This is the most consequential county in Amazonia. As far as the warmongers stealing our resources to benefit the French are concerned, we must understand the geopolitical significance of this county and make Ndian our number one focus. We must get it right, India. We are all Dianites tonight. Let us reassure our resilience ARFs of Dian of our unflinching support for them during this special humanitarian federal government draft. Thank you once more for your patriotic generosity. Let the 2023 draft for our ARFs of Dian County commence right now. Viva! 
uh, Valiant Amazonia Restoration Forces of Dian, uh, Viva the Federal Republic of Amazonia, and God bless you for being here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Okay. I guess we can all be muted again. No, we are new. We are new in the night. Exactly. Okay, thank you, Mr. President, once again for your mesmerizing uh, uh The next one is always better than the previous one. Thank you. So we've come. Thank you. You're all muted. That's fine. <laughs> so we have come to the end of phase one of this uh, very important draft tonight. And uh, we're really happy. And uh, we're ready to hand over to the very, very powerful Department of Finance and Resource Mobilization, headed by Nijo and Masera, who will take on the next part, which is the most important part, as Tata Jonas said. Uh, it is not a day of speeches. It is a day for action. So let the action begin. Resource mobilization, the floor is yours. Thank you.